and welcome to Toby Top War James. Hi guys, welcome back. So I've got the week off work. Yay. So um yeah, I decided I would start a metal make a start on the Space Marines from the Indomitus box. Um so basically I've built everything. This is the new nearly headless chapter. No, I'm just kidding. All my trophy rack of heads is sitting at the back here. Um I'm gonna do the heads in a different colour to the armour. So if you're gonna do something like that, it's easier to leave the heads off the bodies or any body part that's gonna be a different colour to the rest of the model, leave it off. Um I did glue all the um outrider heads on first. So I've had to rip them back off, but uh, just quickly going on to the models now. I absolutely love these Outrider models. Um, you can see here on this one, uh, this is the Sergeant um, from the squad. He has a helmet here, but I've also put a helmet on him. So I've had to hack away and take the helmet off of the, um, the leg here. So that's why it looks a bit beat up. But once it's primed and painted, you're not really going to notice a difference. But these models are amazing. Um, I've left them off the bases as well this time so that I can uh, like get easier access to the bottom and the base which is quite cool so there's three of those um, but yeah the models they're really they go together so so well um, really really nicely uh, you got the Primaris captain again none of these guys have got heads on at the minute um, really like this really like the shield though it's gonna be super heavy to carry around um, what I've also done as well is I've scraped off all of the Indomitus um, sigils as well on their wrists. Um, I really don't like them. I'm not overly fond of all of this like, crap <laughs> all over the models. It's one of the reasons why I was, I'm drawn to Primaris is the fact that I like the sleek, clean lines of them. They haven't got all this extra added um, junk on them. I know it's a big part of the lore and everything else, but I really like a clean, crisp model. Um, I mean, yeah, this is fun to paint on characters and stuff like that, but when you've got a whole army that's like that, it's, it gets a bit boring and you just want something easy to paint. Uh, the Primaris Lieutenant, really, really, really do like the Volkite that he's got, uh, the Neo Volkite pistol. Um, love this. Coming from a um, heresy point of view, uh, from myself, like playing heresy for the last seven years, um, really do like the Volkite, really do rate the Volkite, and I like, I love that they're bringing Volkite back slowly. Um, but again, really nice model. A little bit too much going on for me as well. Um, then we have the Primaris Chaplain. Um, this is a different Chaplain model to the one that's already available because there is already a Chaplain that's available. Um, but this is currently only unique to the Indomitus box. Basically all these models are unique to the Indomitus box at the minute. But um, yeah, Chaplain all fancy as they normally are. Really like them. Again, no head at the minute. Uh, then we've got the the Judica um, or Judicator. That no, is a Judica. Um, I love the uh, like I don't know is it like a claymore or a cleaver? Uh, the square blade. I watch Forged in Fire a lot on um, on the History Channel, and um, they make blades like this on there. And bladesmithing is something I'd love to do. I'd love to um, give it a go or blacksmithing, anything like that. I'd absolutely love to give that a go. But yeah, really nice model. Again, nice big cloak. Um, then we're going to move on to the, oh, I'm going to have to quickly look up their names, the Eradicator Squad. Uh, love these guys. These guys make fire dragons look crap. <laughs> so they've got an awesome weapon. Um, again, as I said, all the heads are off of these models at the minute. But um, I love the new melter that they're uh, going for. It's really nice. I love that they're a mix of like, is this the Gravis armor or is this the Aggressor armor? I don't really know. I'm not entirely up to date with all the Primaris models, but uh, yeah, really like this. I might actually take off all of these little wings and skulls as well, make them different. There's three of those in there. Then we have the Blade Guard. Yeah, the Blade Guard Veteran Squad. Um, this is the Sergeant from that, um, from that unit. I think it's the Sergeant. Ooh. Can't remember. <laughs> they all look identical. But yeah, again, I love the love the storm shields. Storm shields should always be big. Um, again, harking back to like the big breacher shields that you get in Heresy. Really, really like them. So it's one of the reasons why I really, really like um, Primaris overall is because they're really harking back to the old um, like Heresy days of, with the legions, where you have a squad that's specifically tasked to do a certain thing. So, for instance, like the Eradicators here, they've all got the same weapon. Um, the Assault Intercessor Squad, all with the Assault 
assault weapons, they've all got the same weapon. The only one you can normally change out is the Sergeant in Heresy. I really love that. Squads are designed to do one thing and one thing only. Really do like that. Um, but the, um, I've already put these guys on the painting sticks because I'm going to paint these guys first, but these are the Assault Intercessors. Again, really nice ones. Love the running poses on these and love them because they're nice, clean and crisp. There's not too much junk on them. Really like them. Then, last but not least, we've got the um, the Blade Guard Ancient. Uh, really like this guy. Not sure what the hand's all about. I mean, has he found Dawn's hand? Maybe don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a poker for anyone. But yeah, I love the banner. The banner's really nice as well. This is very Age of Sigmarish, I must admit, because um, there's a guy like with a massive banner in in the Age of Sigmar box. But yeah, he's quite a cool model as well. Love the cloaks. Love the leather cloaks. But yeah, so the idea that I'm doing with these guys is um, I'm going to go for like an orange colour scheme. It may change, I'm not entirely set. So this is why I'm going to paint a couple of the Assault Intercessors first just to see what it looks like. All the helmets are going white apart from the captain. Um, he's going to be gold and the lieutenants will all be silver. Um, so it's sort of like a sort of rank system. But everyone else's helmet is going to be white apart from the lieutenants and the captains. Um, also, oh, I was going to say as well, on the Outrider Sergeant, um, I've put the other captain head on it. Um, I'm going to put this head on the Sergeant on the Outriders because I love the idea that this is a visor. It's like a bike visor. Um, if I had three of them, I would put the whole squad as them, but I'm just going to put the Sergeant in as it. So it's like he's pulled up, lifted up his visor to chat. Not that they need to do that because they've got all the Vox system built in and everything else. But yeah, um, so I'm going to go for like an orange colour scheme. I'm going to start off probably with these sort of colours. So start with Squig Orange, then build up to Fire Dragon, and then highlight with some um, Flash Kits yellow as well. But, uh, but yeah, guys, um, as I said, I will do the same with these as I've done with the Necrons. As and when I get to a point, I'll do a bit of recording and um, make another video. So, but I don't know what to call this this one. Uh, so any ideas on what to name this little mini series? I mean, I know uh, a Tomb Awakens is for the Necrons, so I don't know what what i should call this i mean a call to arms maybe or um the arms race or ooh, don't know the orange chainsaw massacre i don't know something stupid but anyway guys again thank you for watching thank you for well giving me your time and, and, and actually watching this video to the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe um again any sort of suggestions for a name for this mini series uh chuck it in the comments um i'm always reading the comments and replying back to everyone so guys thanks for watching thank you for <coughs> liking and subscribing and i'll see you next time on tabletop war james